where the last dying days of the season, we've been really challenged. You know, after I think it was late September, the last week of September, the snow started falling and now we're at the last week of October. I've been trying to get into this area a number of tries now. This is like probably our fourth attempt to get into this area. Mechanical breakdowns, just regular hunting stuff. And the amount of snow that it showed up here three weeks ago to a month ago just hasn't got any really more, but it hasn't made it any easier. I'm hunting with my buddy Ryan. Ryan and I have been longtime friends. We've been hunting together for too many years to count. Ryan is a guide himself, and we've hunted bison together in the past. It's great to have him along, and he's always a great contribution as far as whether it's uh, laughs or you know getting behind the argo and pushing. So every year, Greg, you invite me out on one hunt we get one opportunity to hunt together usually and i should learn like every year it's the hardest hunt of the year i just came off a season of guiding moose and oh one more and here we are pushing and pulling argos through snow push harder greg put your back into it buddy do the work Yeah, we've been uh, best friends for a long time, but I'm thinking about revoking that status here. <laughs> we slept in a tent last night, froze and couldn't see our trail anymore. We started the morning pushing and pulling again, but I shouldn't be surprised that we're into this. I, Why am I surprised? I, 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 you should not be surprised I know. because you are equally as culpable in this kind of scenario. My season so. was so smooth, like it was so easy. There was no <laughs> hiccups. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't believe that for a second. Yeah. But we are where we are. The big bulls are where the big bulls are because nobody else will go there. So here we are. Let's go get the big bulls. Are we there yet? No reply. I guess we're not there yet. You free will. Backpacking for moose generally, I wouldn't say is a common practice. And often the hardest thing, you know, is to just get into the mindset of walking away from your machine you know, that carries most of the stuff. And often that's usually happens in August for sheep hunting and generally not for moose hunting. Especially in October. <clears throat> Especially in October. But that's what we're gonna do today. You think about the energy that it takes to push these things up 500 yards and how many miles you could put on with that same amount of energy and time. The only thing the machines are good for is carrying my sleeping bag because we've got four days left in the season. And when the season's over, I'm not gonna sit around all year and wish that I had had the jam to walk away from the machine to go and finish the hunt. And that's why I got another guy with me that'll actually do it. Not sure why. Even with his winter sleeping bag. <laughs> you got a no freeze policy. Let's go. I don't like freezing. Lead the way. <laughs> Give him the hard job breaking trail. I think we got our work cut out for us, but I'm sure the walking work is gonna be actually easier than the arguing work because we pushed those things, like literally pushed them most of yesterday and part of today. So it's the right call to start walking and got a good hike. So let's and who knows what's right there? We're up high. Moose are in the willows up high this time of year and you know, we saw tracks on the way in. And literally, we could come across a good bull anytime now. We're in the right zone. The hunt is on. The hunt is on. That's deep. We think that we've come to a place where even we <laughs> are challenged by the fact that the snow is just, it's too deep. And the higher we move up the mountain, the deeper it gets. This is snowmobile territory for sure. Yeah. To kill a moose, to backpack at 6K through this is probably not the smartest thing to do. And 
Not that we've always chosen the smartest no, thing to yeah, do, no, you and I. No, the smartest people, but... <laughs> <laughs> but we're not the dumbest. No. <laughs> and this would really classify, to put us really into that category. We're gonna go down. Yeah. We are going to work to get snow machines back up here and finish the season off as best we possibly can and grind it out to the end. And the ethics behind it, if somebody got hurt, how would you get it out? There's a million scenarios that could happen that would make it challenging to get the meat out. And that's not the situation we're gonna put ourselves in. No, we still got a million scenarios challenging to get ourselves out of here. <laughs> <laughs> right now, just, in just order to no. go and get snowmobiles. Yeah. So that's the plan right now. Hike it out. Hike it out. Getting snow machines. We've switched over to the snow machines. It is not bison season yet. Generally speaking, we hunt bison on snow machines, but this year we're hunting moose. It's time to get after it. Don't you think that's a good four and a half inches here? Nah, maybe three, but get the skates, eh? Too short for body check. Elbows up. Yeah, get that. You ready? I'm ready for this. Well, I thought the moose season was over. We did make a conscientious effort the other day to get into high country. And then we talked about a plan of bringing snowmobiles in, which I thought was totally impossible anyway. So when Greg called me this morning and said, let's go, we're going on a, a goose hunt, he said. So I, I put on the dirty bird and I was ready for a goose hunt and I misunderstood. So we're actually back on the moose hunt. And as crazy as it sounds, we found a way to get snow machines in here. And uh, we're over a few significant hurdles and there's a lot more to come. Oh, we're good there. Back up a touch. You just saw that little uh, minor gong show. There's gonna be some major gong shows ahead, I can guarantee it, but we'll be able to get it done this time. We've got every piece of machinery short of a kayak here with us right now. And that might come in before this is over. The daylight is showing up, but the wind is too. I think the moose are just gonna be hunkered down right in the willow, laying beside a pine tree, just out of the wind. And yeah, spotting them becomes our next challenge now. We're here, but this wind is crazy. The sky though is spectacular. That is crazy windy. Love it. There's moose there. I think I got four or five. <sighs> Far mountain, eh? Yeah. That draw over there too? Yeah. There's another five or six of them in it. Yeah. So every one of these willow draws is holding moose on this side. Out of the wind. Out of the wind. Makes sense. Let's go. Let's go see. We've had warmer bison hunts. Yes, we have. Well, the wind should die down when we're on the very top, no? <laughs> I got a feeling. Well, it won't get any worse. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Every time we've said something can get worse so far this trip, <laughs> it has, though. Let's go find some bedded down moose, then. Let's do it. 